Hello everyone, welcome to another flight planning tutorial for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Uh, today we're going to be taking an outside flight plan from Little Nav Map and importing it into the simulator. Uh, it's really pretty much the same as all the others, just a slightly different step to it. But first we're just going to go ahead and make a really quick flight plan. We're going to start off setting Lake Placid as our destination. We're going to head down to Scroon Lake. Our de departure destination, we're going to head up through the mountains. Real simple flight plan. And now that we got our flight plan made, we're going to make sure it's in VFR. 5,000 foot's good for most of the mountains here. And once we've got your flight plan, it doesn't matter how complicated or how simple you want to make it. It doesn't, that part doesn't matter. This is all about getting it into the simulator. But we're going to go ahead and go to file export as Microsoft 2020, which also works in 2024. We'll select the start position, which really doesn't matter a heck of a lot in this, but we'll go ahead and save it off as test so we can find it. And make sure it says .plm file. And that takes care of exporting your plan. And we'll jump on over to the simulator. And we're going to do a couple of different ways in here. First way, we're going to go ahead and import it via the tablet here. Go to your flight plan. Now, your load flight plan button will not work. This is only for ones that were made on the website or inside the simulator. They won't work here. So let me go down to load save PLN file. So anything you make outside the simulator in a PLN file or if somebody sends you one, this is where you're going to load it. Load from this PC, go to where you saved it. I just keep mine in my documents. There's the test. When we open it, there's our simple waypoints. We file it with ATC and we send the route to the avionics of the airplane. And then we go ahead scroll up here and it'll show our flight plan. Our VFR flight plan, really simple. You can label this VFR, everything's all set, and you go ahead and fly. And it'll all be there for you. Kilo Lima, Kilo Papa, traffic on. Sierra Papa Uniform 189er, taking off runway, tree two, straight out departure. Okay, now that we're in the sim, we'll look and we can see our flight plans already in the already sent to the avionics. It's already fly with it, filed with ATC. And you can see it over here on our tablet, which is the same tablet that's out in the overworld. Now we're gonna do something different this time. I'm gonna go ahead and jump all the way back out and we'll show you how to do it from inside the plane from a cold dark. So we're going to add that to the step this time and it's really simple. So I'll see you when we get back in here. Okay, now we're back at the main overworld. If we want to do cold dark, we'll go ahead and check. We have nothing loaded. We'll go down in here to Lake Placid. Get to my runway. It would help if I knew where I was going. We'll pick our starting position for cold and dark. There's the fuel, but we're going to go ahead and start over here. And you, you select your start position wherever you want to start. You start your flight like normal with no flight plans loaded. And we'll go ahead and run through the... We'll even do the fun stuff of... Picking up the chocks. Get everything ready for flight. Take that off. Take that off. Get in the plane. <laughs> now that we're in the plane, we're just going to cheat and do the control E. I want to show you from cold and dark that we can how to load the flight plans from in the plane. We'll see we got nothing. Everything's clear. Now we just roll over to our, zoom in on our tablet here. 
like I said, this load flight plan is for ones that are made inside the sim or inside the official soft website. We're not going to be using those. We've got to scroll down here to load this flight plan from PLM file. I load from this PC, same as outside. And there we go. It shows us our waypoints. We've got to go ahead and file with the ATC. It's still not in the sim. You hit send the route to your avionics, and there it is. So that's how you can do it for cold dark. It's uh, probably one of the best features of the simulator is the ability to have so many ways that all tie into one. You can do it outside the sim, inside the sim, inside the menu, inside the aircraft, and they all work exactly the same. The only big difference is getting the the hang of is these are for ones made officially these are plan files made from other programs and that that's quite literally that simple guys so i hope you enjoy your flight and see you in the skies and we'll see you in the next one